Arctic coast in a big gamble here to try and get his old European title back from a man who beat him five years ago. From Zaire, now a naturalised Italian, wearing the red stripe, the orthodox boxer, Sambu Calambo. French referee, Armand Creef in this European title fight. Calambay the champion, and it is a big risk for Harold Graham, who badly needs to get this title back to maintain uh, any sort of credibility as a possible world title challenger. He's had two unsuccessful attempts at a world title. He still has hopes of becoming a world champion, but he must win this fight if those hopes are to be maintained. And to come to Italy to do it against a man on his home ground, because Calambay comes from this area, uh, now, then it is really a big risk that Graham is taking. Southpaw, Harold Graham from Sheffield, now 32 years old. This, in fact, is a fight between two real veterans because Callum Bay next month will be 36. And we have two fighters here of good pedigree. Callum Bay, in fact, is the former World Boxing Association middleweight champion and has beaten some very good Americans in his time. So he's a formidable opponent for Graham, which makes this trip to Pissarro even more of a gamble. Scheduled for 12 rounds. Head up to Graham. A four-rope ring. This is now compulsory in European title fights. They wear eight-ounce eight gloves at middleweight. Well, these men met five years ago at Wembley, and Callum Bay came out a winner on points in a shock result at that time. Everybody expected Harold Graham to beat this man, and it was a great disappointment to British boxing when he didn't. And he had a lot of trouble with Callum Bay that night, and we all thought that uh, Harold Graham was below form. But as Callum Bay then went on to win the WBA middleweight championship, it was clear that he was a much more formidable opponent than anybody had expected. And he still is, even though he's close to 36 years old. He's not a great puncher, Callum Bay, but he's strong, he's durable, and he's always aggressive. And one suspects that Graham will need to be at his absolute best here to win this. Well, a fairly indecisive opening round. Callum Bay, a good old campaigner. So the opening exchanges are over. Now perhaps we get down to real business. Harold Graham, of course, a brilliant uh, tactical fighter, wonderful defensive boxer. Not quite sure what uh, Harold's tactics will be here. Whether he'll try and force it and try to win it by aggression and better boxing, or whether he'll stand off and try to pick up the points. Never quite tell with uh, the judges whether that's uh, a wise tactic. They often look for the man who forces it all the time. That's a, a little sneak punch there from Graham, and it's counted as a knockdown. That looked like a little right hand that caught uh, Callum Bay on the turn. And so the first minor success to the British champion. Round two. Calabay now has picked up an Italian forename, Patrizio. Been living in this part of the world now for many years. And that's an encouraging start for Graham in this second round. To get the champion on the floor. Uh, kidney punches there from uh, Graham. The man had turned his back on him. Actually, uh, Calambay could have done with a warning there because you're not supposed to turn your back on your opponent. But at the same time, Graham was punching at him while his back was turned. And Graham is looking extremely confident and very dangerous at this moment. He's bundled his man over. He gets another ticking off from this French referee, Monsieur Armand Creef. 
do to incur Monsieur Creef's displeasure in a fight like this? It's to stay on the right side of the ref. Calumbay is looking confused. Izzy, I wonder, over the top at almost 36. Been around a very long time. He's been a pro for a dozen years. Has another good punch. Beautiful little counter punch from Graham. And that's the second time, the second knockdown in this second round. And Harold Graham has made a wonderful start to this European title challenge. Nonetheless, Callum Bay may well still be a strong and dangerous opponent. Well, Harold Graham could hardly have asked for much better than that. That was a, a marvellous second round for him. And uh, that corner, Brendan Ingle tending to him, his old trainer, Mickey Duff, his uh, manager these days, looking through the ropes. Here's that first knockdown again. Beautiful little, he turned him and caught him with a beautiful little right hand on the turn. Sheer class. Now round three. Now it's very important at this point of the fight for Graham to build on those successes in the second round. Two knockdowns scored against this man. Puts him comfortably in front. But Calambo, as we know from that fight five years ago at Wembley, is a difficult opponent, but again he takes a left hand this time from Graham. And Graham has got him really confused. Callum Bay doesn't quite know where the next one's coming from. He's been caught on both sides now, right and left. Well, it's wonderful to see Graham bursting with confidence here and doing so well. He had the disastrous uh, middleweight to world title challenge against Julian Jackson when he, he was skating the fight on the first three rounds and then got knocked out in the fourth with one punch. And one wonders how much that has taken from Graham's confidence, but on the look of this uh, opening here, it hasn't taken anything away from it. Calabay's gloves still high up, still coming forward. Despite having been rocked at least three times by good punches. Graham's right eye, there's a smear of blood on Harold Graham's right eye. It looks as though he's got a minor cut there. Another caution from the referee for holding. And Graham is cut. Don't think it's a bad cut, it's under the eyebrow, on the eyelid. But it's obviously disturbed him because suddenly the rhythm has gone out of his work. Calumbay putting in a big attack here third round watch Graham's footwork he's a master a master craftsman certainly the best British boxer of recent years not to have won a world title and one feels he should have done there may still be time but Calambo coming back very very strongly at the end of the third round that was a big attack by Calambo and it's done something to take away the glory of the second round from Graham he hasn't quelled him Graham is now cut on the right eye. Not sure how it was done. We might get a chance to see. Denny Mancini going to work on it. So from a very good second round, Graham suddenly has walked into trouble. A cut and under a lot of pressure at the end of the round. We might get a chance here to see how that cut was caused. 
Long left hand from Canabe. Just falling short, possibly. It was difficult to tell when a cut happens. Might have been there. So we've got an intriguing European middleweight title fight on our hands here between 32-year-old Harold Graham in the plain white trunks, the southpaw, from Sheffield, born in Nottingham, son of a Jamaican lay preacher. And Sambu Calambe, Patrizio Calambe now, as he's known, he's a naturalised Italian. Fifty-eight fights behind him, Calambe and a world ch championship to his credit. And Harold Graham tonight fighting his 48th fight. So over a hundred professional fights between the two of them. Again, Graham incurring the referee's displeasure in this fourth round. judge for yourself now just how strong Callum Bay is he was in a lot of trouble in the second round and at the beginning of the third and now he's looking rather menacing and although Graham's boxing is still tactically quite good he's pushed him down although he's still tactically quite good he's being put under a lot of pressure by Callum Bay and Graham will need all his footwork and all his defensive skill here to stay out of trouble. Right hand from Calambay there looked very menacing. Rather more mauling in this round than has been so far. It's been a good open fight up to now. Now they're beginning to get locked together. Sign of increasing tension. And remember, this is a vital fight for Graham. If he loses this, it's difficult to see how he can ever be rated again as a world title contender. He's picked up a public warning here from this referee, who's a lot of infringements here. Uh, the referee sees in Graham's work. I'm not quite sure what they all are, because he doesn't seem to me to be doing anything seriously wrong. But nonetheless, he's going to have a point deducted from his score in this fourth round. And if this fight is close, if he goes 12 rounds and it's close, that's going to be a real handicap for Graham. So four rounds completed, and this time Graham goes back to his corner, having had a point compulsorily deducted from his score. So from a promising start, things not quite going his way. He's got that... Not very bad cut above the right eye. Referee wasn't too pleased about that because he certainly pushed him down. And later, Graham had the point deducted. So, this is developing into a hard, and now I suspect, quite a close contest. seems to find everything wrong with Graham's work and I'm not too clear what it's all about. It's a good fight, you see. Neither man has stayed on top for any length of time. Every now and again you think Graham is getting on top and then this strong man comes back, forces it and gets punches through. I have to say from these opening rounds that Graham is taking a few more punches than I'd like to see him take. Graham, known to be an expert defensive boxer, but taking this fight rather more punches than I care to see him take. There's his record, 44 wins in 47 fights. Calambe, one of only three men to beat him, and the other two defeats were in world title fights. Replay from that fifth round, that was a good 
overarm left down the side of Graham's face. Canambe always aggressive. Good fighter. And that is Canambe's wife. Now he's known as Sambu from Zaire. He's known as Patrizia and she calls him Ali. Playing white trunks, the southpaw leads with his right, right foot forward. And the former world champion and the current European champion, Sambu Kalambe. Not nearly as graceful a boxer, but nonetheless, very effective. Graham trying to get some more of the punches through, like the ones he threw in the second round when he twice had this man on the floor. But he hasn't built on that, unfortunately. Or perhaps to put it another way, it's very difficult to build on it against such a strong and durable man as Callum Bay. Always was going to be a difficult opponent. This was always a big gamble for Graham to come to Pissarro tried to take this title away from his old rival, the man who inflicted Graham's first professional defeat in 1987 at Wembley. He'd had 38 consecutive wins as a pro. At that moment, Harold Graham and this man Calambe suddenly ruined it. Once again, adopting the role of the attacker. It's good to see he's full of confidence, despite the fact he's got this slight cut on the right eyelid. Graham must always have known this was going to be a tough contest for him. He certainly knows it now. He's had an amazing career, Graham. He's been British and European light middleweight champion and British and European middleweight champion. He's the holder of a Lonsdale belt, having a good sixth round here in a fight he really has got to win. So the bell ends the sixth. And did you notice there that although Graham was very much on top uh, for the first half of that round, Cannon Bay took it all and was still coming back and looking dangerous at the end of the sixth round. And that is always the menacing thing about this fight. And no matter what Graham does, he doesn't quite get on top of him. Here's another example of that early work in this round from Graham. And he really was putting together some good punches here. But nonetheless, the other man was coming back at him at the end of the sixth. We're into the seventh. is chasing him again this is really a very fine performance from Harold Graham but unfortunately Callum Bay is still very strong Graham really not, uh, not being troubled too much by that uh, cut on the right eyelid. It's a minor cut and the corner have done a good job on it and it hasn't worried him at all. In fact, can't see any blood now. Those are two good left hands. 
This man is so strong, he takes these punches so well. Well, this is another fine round by uh, Graham so far, and he's forcing his way back into the lead again made a very good start to the fight fell away a little bit now coming very strongly back into it again he said that uh, the eye wasn't troubling him I think there's a smear of blood again at the right eye of Graham and his left eye is beginning to look uh, a little puffed and these are all signs of what a tough rolling battle this is And it's still going along at a fair old pace. Very open contest, very few clinches. The referees had very little to do except to caution Graham for a number of rather minor offences. He's had one public warning which will cost him a mark. And it looks to me now as though Calambay may be cut on the left eye. Graham's left eye, I think, is cut as well now. So Graham has now got two cuts, one on each eye, and Callum Bay is cut on the left eye. Again, a sign of what a hard contest this is as the bell ends the seventh round. So they've got three cuts over their eyes now between them, these two good, experienced campaigners, both well into their 30s, and putting up a tremendous battle here in Pissarro on the Adriatic coast of Italy. Well, the Italians make him having 59 fights. I don't know where they found the other one from. I can only find 58 for him. And that corner, very professionally cool as we come into the eighth. Graham now with a cut above each eye, but the cuts are not serious. You can never say that. There's a bandage, uh, the tape around the left glove is working loose. It often happens when uh, water is being splashed about in the corner between rounds and the, uh, the stickiness of the tape wears out. So Brendan Ingle trying to stretch it and stick it. Canabay gets a breather. Actually, it's been such a hard-paced fight, they both needed a breather at that point. Eighth round. Amazingly, this is uh, Harold Graham's 17th major title fight. That's British, European, Commonwealth, world titles. 17th major title fight. And he's won 14 of them. Two of his three defeats, the two that outside the Callum Bay defeat, both came in world title fights, one against Mike McCallum and that disaster against Julian Jackson. Tremendous record. Poker faced. Doesn't matter what Graham does, he still comes back. He's also not bad defensively, Callum Bay. He's quite good at slipping punches. He's constantly shifting the shoulders, weaving about, and a lot of Graham's work finds its way over the shoulder instead of on the target area. So he's no mug. Tape coming loose again. So the scissors will have to come out again in Graham's corner.
very noticeable that Graham is under pressure in the second half of every round. He, he has a good start to the round, but the man always finds his way back. He's always pushing Graham about towards the end of a round. Kellis with his head there, I must say that. Got away with it. He hasn't got away with much with this referee. Good right hand from Callum Beck. And Graham's gum shoulders come out as the bell ends the round. Now there's an example of what I was saying, that this man comes so strongly in the second half of every round. And that was a cracking right hand. And uh, Graham's gum shield, his mouthpiece, was dislodged with the force of the punch. Here it is again. You can see just how dangerous and ominous this man is. Look at that. That was a cracking punch. And the gum shield dropped out. Well, we're getting to the latter stages of this scheduled 12-rounder in Pesaro for the European middleweight title held by the orthodox boxer of these two. 35-year-old Sambu Kalambay and the challenger and former champion Harold Bomber Graham as he used to be known, it's not used as much these days, crack of heads there Graham complains, referee cautions no one very interesting stage of this fight now because uh, Graham made a good start he came very well in the fifth and sixth rounds again. But he's been under a bit of pressure in the last round. And I don't think there's all that much between them. Also, one has to remember that Graham had a point deducted from his score in the fourth round. So this is beginning to look as though it could be a very close fight. Lot's going to depend on how much stamina Harold Graham can bring to bear at the end because the one thing you can be certain about is that Callum Bay, if this goes 12 rounds, Callum Bay will be strong and dangerous right to the very end. Graham again dazzling his man, confusing him with flurries of punches. They're not harmful, but they should be scoring. There's that right hand again from Callum Bay, and the, the legs have gone on Graham. Now, it's the first time that he's shown real weakness. The right hand suddenly shook him right down to the knees. Ninth round. And for the first time in this fight, Graham is in trouble. He's weathered it well, and he's trying to put some punches together again. Callum Bay will know now that the right hand has taken a lot out of Harold Graham. Graham now needs all this defensive wariness. This is the sort of exhibition stuff he does in the gym, hands down, using the feet to keep out of trouble. And he certainly needs to keep out of further... Oh, another right hand. He's not laughing. He's uh, testing his jaw to see just how badly it was hurt. He's flexing the muscles of the jaw to test how much effect that punch had on it. Well, that was a grim ninth round for Harold Graham. And the first of those big right hands threatened to put him down. And this man really is a good champion. Anybody who thought he might be a bit over the top at 35 was mistaken. There it is, look at that right hand, and Graham unhinged at the knees. Left himself wide open after coming in with the left hand. That's not like Graham. Taking too many, I said that earlier. And 
These were rather desperate moments for Harold Graham in the ninth round. And there was the, the jaw being flexed just to test how much damage has he done to me. There are three rounds left in this European Championship battle, which is a really hard and well-fought battle between two good men. And one begins to wonder whether the gamble is going to pay off for Graham. He had a marvellous start to this contest, but things now are turning against him. I don't think there's very much in it even now. But the trouble is, Callum Bay is still very, very strong, and he's got the right hand now with which to do some damage. You have to admire Callum Bay. An amazing career himself, like Graham's. Callum Bay has had six world title fights. This is his seventh European Championship fight. He's had two Italian title fights. He lost two of the world title fights. Because after they took away his WBA title, he had two more attempts to win a world title. Neither was successful. again coming forward again looking at times as though he's got the, still got the strength and ability to really do some damage here if he can just find the right shot and Callum Bay now feels the pressure Been a good round for Graham. Been shaken right down to his heels by right hands, and now suddenly in the tenth he's come back into it. Sign of courage and ability. Graham's left eye looking rather the worse for wear now. It's cut, of course. Both eyes are cut on Graham. And also, there's more and more of a swelling coming up around his left eye. Graham, the slim, lithe southpaw from Sheffield, moving straight into the attack in this penultimate round. Well, I think he slipped don't think he was put down by a punch. I saw nothing significant, and in fact, the referee has not counted it as a knockdown. But that was interesting, because that might be a sign of tiredness, that uh, the legs are beginning to feel it on Callum Bay's part. That would hardly be surprising, because this contest has been fought at a remarkable pace. These are men of almost 11 and a half stone, remember, and they've been skipping around this ring like featherweights now for the best part of 11 rounds. There's no slackening of the pace, and they've had very few rests during the rounds. There's been very little clinching. And in every way, it's been an excellent championship battle. Calumet coming forward, but not doing very much in this round. Didn't do much in the 10th either. face beginning to show the signs of battle too there's a little bit of a swelling coming up around the left eye and 
this is a very good run again for Graham. He had a good 10th, now he's having a good 11th. Canabay trying to bring the right hand out again, he does. No matter what you do to this man from Zaire, he still comes at you, he still comes forward. And those are the sort of fighters who break other fighters' hearts. You see the lump around Graham's left eye. And Callum has got one around his left eye. The scars of a tough battle. I think these men are both beginning to be very, very tired indeed. The pace is not slackening. Graham lips his licks as he goes back. Licks his lips as he goes back to the corner. You can see for yourself the damage that Calumbay has inflicted on him. Signs there of the damage Graham has inflicted on Callum Bay. The ice bag is out. Leaping in and rather dangerous with his head there, Callum Bay. Again, Callum Bay turns his back on. So we come to the final three minutes of this superb European middleweight championship fight in Italy between the naturalized Italian from Zaire, Sambu Callum Bay, the champion, and the former champion and now the challenger, desperately seeking to win this to maintain his credibility as a world title hope, Harold Bomber Graham from Sheffield. And I would, I would rank this a very close fight indeed. Big lump now on the forehead of Calumbo. He doesn't want to get trapped in a corner at this stage of the fight. The holding going on there. This is all signs of extreme tiredness. ugliest moments of the entire fight and it's all down to the stamina finally being drained from these two good men but Callumbay one has to say is looking the stronger of the two he's forcing Graham into untenable positions what a battle it is and it looks now as though it's going to go right to the final bell. One on the break there from Graham. Referee having a stern word with the pair of them. I think he could be a little more forgiving at this stage of the contest because these are two very tired men who've put up a great battle. They can be forgiven a few indiscretions at this stage. He's losing his cool a bit. And he's given Graham another warning. And that means that Graham will now have another point deducted from his score. And if this is very close, that could be an absolute killer for the British champion. I'm not at all sure why he's done that. I would have thought that uh, there were infringements on both sides. But Graham's the one who's been made to pay. And the final bell in a round that really hasn't gone Graham's way. So I think it's a very close fight.
But you have to remember that although he put the man down twice in the second round, Graham has had points deducted in the fourth and twelfth rounds. And that might be the thing that could decide this excellent title fight in Pissarro, Italy. Callum Bay, is he still the champion? Or is Harold Graham going to take the title home and still be a world title contender? Well, the verdict, in fact, a unanimous points win for Callum Bay. And as you'll see, a bit of a farce because the referee got it wrong by holding up Harold's arm there. A bemused Harold. Eventually, a smiling referee got it all sorted out, but it's hard to get a points decision in Italy. You have to knock out your opponents. Oh. Peter Brunel, Luton 2.